All right, welcome. Today we're going to talk about mixed numbers, and and we've talked a lot about fractions, and you've seen some videos on simple fractions and whatnot. But what happens when there is a large number mixed in with that fraction? Uh, we'll go ahead and bring up our pointer here, and let's take a look. See this two right here? Notice how that's bigger than the other two. This these two numbers with the fraction bar here make up the fraction. Well, when you combine a large number and a fraction, we call that a mixed number. And this we don't really call large number. We actually call this our whole number or the, the full pieces. Let's say we're talking about pizza. We all like pizza. So two would mean two full pizzas. And then the fraction would mean we'd have one out of 10 pieces of the third pizza. So that tells us we don't have a full third pizza or we haven't let's say we're we've eaten two and one tenths we were really hungry that day so we ate two pizzas with one out of ten of the pieces of the third pizza so we didn't eat that full third pizza that's why it becomes a fraction okay now let's talk and figure out how do we make this mixed number and write it as a decimal so we're today where our subject is converting from a mixed number and writing it as a decimal. So you're going to be, notice this equal sign, they're going to be the exact same thing. We just need to know how to write. And just like we know we can write numbers different ways, like the number two can be written as one plus one, that's the same thing as two. Whereas you could also do uh, three minus one, that's the same thing as two. All right, now two and one tenth equals we need to write that as a decimal. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how we do. We already know how to make one tenth a decimal. So I'm gonna put the decimal down and I'm going to write one and it's in the tenths place. But here's where we get sometimes can be confused. We need to write that two in there also. Well, the two is our whole number and it's actually just two full pizzas, we'll pretend like pizzas again, well, that would be in the ones place. So I would take my two, and we know to the left of a decimal is our ones place. So we would write that 2.1 or two and one tenth. All right, let's see how you do on the next one. Again, we, we know here that seven and one tenth is, or excuse me, seven tenths is the same thing as decimal seven. That's seven tenths. We have written the fraction. Now we need to write the whole number in there. And you'll get to the point where you can write these together fairly quickly. Anytime it's over 10, we can put three point and then whatever the numerator is in our tenths place. Three and seven tenths. Let's go to the next, the, the fourth, or excuse me, the third mixed number. And let's see how we do. We have seven and fourteen hundredths. Ooh, we have a hundred. So I'm gonna put the seven because that's my whole number. And I'm gonna put a decimal. Fourteen hundredths. Let's see. I put fourteen and I know that four is in the hundredths. So watch seven and fourteen hundredths. Since that last one is in the hundredths place. Okay, let's go to the next one. Notice that this is in the hundredths again. So I'm going to write my whole number. This is 12 and 29 hundredths. So 12 with a decimal. 29 and the 9 needs to be in the hundredths, which is the second place to the right of the decimal. So 29, or excuse me, 12.29 or 12 and 29 hundredths. All right, I think that some of you are probably starting to feel like those are pretty simple. And you know what? You should be. They're, they, they are simple, and I think you can do it. Let's go to the next one. Seven and one fourth. Oh, notice quickly, and I want to bring this to your attention, that this fourth right here, this one fourth, is no longer over ten. It's not at a tenth, so I can't just write the number, the numerator, in the tenths place. It's still not terribly difficult. We have to know our fourths. Remember we talked about in a previous video, we talked about fourths as 
out of a whole, we can have four of something out of a whole. So we can have four quarters. One of the fourth in a quarter, because because a dollar would be our whole, would be 25 cents. So let's go right our, the, the whole number stays the same. Seven, one fourth. Well, one out of four quarters is equal to 25 cents. Some of you are going to want to put 7.14 because you see the one right here and the four here. Some of you are gonna to wanna to do that. Be careful, don't do that. So seven and one fourth isn't, or 7.14 would not be equivalent or equal to seven and one fourth. That would be seven and seven and 25 hundredths. All right, well, what about the next one? If you have half of a dollar, nine and a half, you'd have nine of something and 50 cents is half of a dollar so 9.5 or 9.50 and I'm gonna give you a chance in just a minute to try some on your own so now I'd like for you to try watching as I go let's do 11 okay our whole number is 11 put that down in a decimal and one fifth remember if I multiply my numerator and denominator by the same number I'll get an equivalent fraction I'm going to multiply times 2 because that'll give me a fraction over 10. And tenths are easy to write as decimals. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 tenths. I can write 2 tenths. 11.2 or 11 and 2 tenths. And finally, 3 out of 4. When I'm talking about quarters again, fourths, always think of quarters. That will help you. 2 point and 3 out of 4 quarters is 75 cents or two and 75 hundredths. Two and 75 hundredths, because three out of four quarters would be 75 cents. All right, let's go on to this last one. I'd like for you to go ahead and press pause in the video. I'd like for you to go ahead and try these on your own, see what you come up with, and then check your five decimals to see if you've written your mixed numbers as decimals correctly. Okay, hopefully you've pressed pause. Now you're back, and let's check to see how you did. Well, we have nine and two tenths, 9.2, kind of looks familiar. And let's do the next one, two and three tenths. Two is the whole number, three in the tenths place, three tenths, 2.3 or two and three tenths. Six and a half, well, if I have six dollars and half of another dollar, I'd have 50 cents. So six and a half would be 6.5 or six and five tenths. Uh, our fourth one, we have one and three out of four quarters. Remember fourths, always think of fourths as quarters. And we would have 1.75 or one and 75 hundredths. And then finally, let's go to the last one on the fifths. Fifths can be challenging, a little bit more difficult, but remember if you multiply a fifth times two, numerator and denominator, you're going to get an equivalent fraction. So two times two would be four. 5 times 2 would be 10, so 4 tenths. It could be like 3 and 4 tenths. And most of us can do 3 and 4 tenths. So I'd write the whole number 3 and put 0.4, and it's in the tenths place. So it's 3 and 4 tenths. How did you do? Well, thanks for joining us. Hopefully next time you'll be even smarter. Bye.